seahorses are among the popular favorites to be kept in aquariums. If any public place installed an aquarium with these fish, they immediately attract the attention of visitors. People throng to watch these exquisite fish floating in the aquarium. Sometimes the seahorses meet and connect with their tails. Then, just as elegantly, they unfurl their tails and quietly disperse in different directions. These small sea fish tend to live along the shore, among seaweed and other plants. They have have only one mating partner. The distance they travel does not exceed a few meters. The seahorse's body length varies from 4 to 30 centimeters, and it continues to grow throughout its four years of life. The seahorse genus is represented by 32 species, the pygmy seahorse, an Atlantic species, smaller than other species, the brown seahorse, which inhabits Europe, the great brown or blackish seahorse, which inhabits the Pacific, and the medium-sized seahorse that lives in Australian waters. The seahorse's body is covered by a bony shell that protects it from danger. This shell is so hard that you can't you can't crush a dry, dead seahorse with your hands. Its tough skeleton makes the seahorse unattractive to predators, so no one usually touches this fish except a large land crab, which can digest it. The female seahorse is completely immersed in this protective shell. The body of the male is also encased in it, except for the lower part of the torso. The shell is often covered with numerous bone rings. The seahorse is unique among fish in that its head is at right angles to its body. When the seahorse swims, its body remains upright. The seahorse's head can move up or downward, but cannot turn sideways. The inability to move the head in different directions in other creatures would probably would cause problems, but the creator in his wisdom designed the seahorse so that its eyes move and rotate independently of each other, simultaneously observing what is happening in different directions from it. In order to swim vertically, the seahorse uses its fins. It sinks and rises by changing the volume of gas inside its swim bladder. If the swim bladder is damaged and even a small amount of gas is lost, the, the seahorse sinks to the bottom and lies helplessly until it dies. Perhaps the most incredible, if not bizarre, feature of the seahorse is that the male gives birth to the cubs. About this unusual phenomenon became known to scientists only in the last century. The female lays eggs in the pocket until it is completely full, it can hold more than 600 eggs. The inside of the pocket of the pocket becomes like a sponge, filled with blood vessels which play a role in feeding the eggs. This an extraordinary feature of the male seahorse. When egg laying is complete, the daddy-to-be sails off with his inflated a kind of live baby carriage. One or two months later, the male gives birth to tiny babies, exact replicas of the adults. The miniature addition to the family is squeezed out through the hole until the pouch is completely empty. Sometimes the male will experience very violent labor to push out the last cub. The emergence of the cute little ones is an amazing, but for the male the birthing process is very grueling. The born seahorses are not called sea stallions, but simply baby seahorses. Nowadays, seahorses are on the brink of extinction their population is rapidly declining. 30 species of seahorse are listed in the Red Book. Seahorse species out of the 32 known to science. There are many reasons for this, one of them being the mass catching of seahorses off the coast of Thailand, Malaysia, Australia, and the Philippines. The exotic appearance of the fish has doomed them to be used by people as souvenirs and as souvenirs and gifts. For the sake of beauty, their tails are artificially curved so as to give their bodies the shape of the letter S. In fact, there are no such species of fish in nature. Does not exist in nature it's a human whim. The only thing that saves skates from extinction is their high fertility. Some species produce more than a thousand babies at a time. A separate point in the destruction of the seahorse population is the, the fact that the taste of these fish is appreciated by gourmets. According to them, the liver and eyes of seahorses are quite tasty, although they possessing laxative properties. The dish is served with a fig leaf and costs as much as $800 per a portion at the most expensive seaside restaurants.